everybody, Dan Shipman here on Toronto Talk TV at the NAMM Show 2017. Thankfully, we're in a little bit of a more quiet area with Sean Lowry, my bro, a.k.a. Mr. Sawblade Head. And hey, welcome Facebook Live fans. How y'all doing? Hopefully you can hear us. It's a little different environment here, so we'll do our best to speak up. Even though he's got a cold, even though he recently survived thyroid cancer. We're going to talk about that. But let's start with that. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Just, uh, just kicking its ass. I wasn't going to let that stop me. And uh, I have way too many things to build, too many things to do. And, uh, I'm just like... Got it over with, did the surgery, and I'm moving on. So. That's cool. You did what my dad did. He had five heart attacks, and with each one, he said he gave death the finger. That's right. <laughs> got that right. Very cool. So we're here with his sculpture, Maximum Overdrive, and we're going to show you some detail of it in a moment, so relax. First, we're going to talk about it. How did you get the idea for this? And I know that you made this, I'm getting tangled up. I know that you made this in 2013, 13, it was? Yeah, 2013 is when I made this. I wanted to debut something at Bike Week in Daytona. We were doing a series of five shows. And I have my life dream, which is way too big to do at Daytona. So, plus it's a whole bike theme, and I wanted something that represented, you know, that, you know, that male aggression, testosterone, build, you know, race car type of thing. Mad Max theme. Getting yeah, goosebumps. Yeah, yeah, Mad Max <laughs> type of theme. And then all this is actually free for me. The only thing I started with is you now I have my, my points of where I need to set up my symbols and everything else. But literally everything was free for me. Wow. So, I was going to ask if you started with a well thought out sketch or if you just let it flow. And yeah. So you let it flow backwards. You started from where it needed to end up, basically, right? Well, yeah, whatever, you know, everybody, every drummer has put a symbol, the height and everything. Yeah. So that's why I start with my own drop points where they are and, yeah. and do it from there. And a lot of times what I would envision, like, actually that spring right there, I actually had paired them. I thought that was going to be my tom holders and that wound up, actually a lot of the mistakes wound up being the best thing to come out. Like, I love the tom holder now because that was actually a mistake. They, we so, call those happy accidents. Oh, I love it. I love yeah. that. So, I am very pleased with it. Everything, because what my vision is, every little piece that you can, if you take out a stand and just look at it, I want it to be a piece of artwork. But when you put the whole thing in composition, now the whole composition comes together, and that's what I wanted with this kit. And I think I've, I think I've done it. Absolutely. What is the material it's all made out of? Is it all uh, iron or steel? It's uh, steel, just different junk. It's uh, car parts, probably motorcycle parts. Cool. Right bomb, obviously saw blades. And it, of course, saw blades. Yeah. And as you play in the rain, the patina will change color. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and it's cool. He was showing me earlier that these uh, saw blades here, you hear those? They're actually like ice belts, functional. Um, they wouldn't let me have drumsticks over here at the booth. So. <laughs> Um, let's talk about yeah. what you've been going through lately. And while I do that, and to maybe can pan and get some of the detail of this beautiful sculpture, but going through the thyroid cancer, it's such a young age. Yeah. It's young. It's young. Yeah. It was, um, you know, it's not
there's people that suffer more. Yeah. That's what I got to go through. So I'm not going to take any part of this and do what I have to do. And that's all there is. I'm hoping if I can be, you know, that attitude is something that actually has its works. So it's just, it's just that helping hand to everybody else. So. I love that you can be an advocate for the the attitude because that really you know makes all the difference. That really does. I mean, it was the same thing with me. You know, you might not know. It's like that helping hand of you know, networking musicians. You know, your friends help out to get in. It's not the same thing for this aspect. So, you know, if you're going through battle, and some people might have some battles. You know, but if you're there for everybody, they just they lift up the army. And so, you know, you know, or, or at least you know, be healthy enough to live your life and be happy. Right. Great. Hey, if you all want to see, and, and I'll be right with you folks on Facebook Live. Hold on, I got something to tell you specifically. But if you want to see uh, Sean's interview from a couple of years ago, actually it was 2014, and see his life tree sculpture, it's amazing. You made some pictures and everything, but if you go to drumtalktv.com. Click on NAM show on the tab. There'll be a drop down to the 2014 show, or it might be in the Sprockets and Cogs page, or you can go to Facebook and search Drum Talk TV Sean Lowry. And either way, you'll come up with this interview where he explains to others how many feet of steel in that thing? Over 1,300 feet of steel. Over 1,300 feet All hands of sold. steel. And I want to show them here, too, as well. This thing's just amazing. Actually, I could cut in the actual picture into the interview. <laughs> but yeah, go there and check out that interview. That's where we first met Sean. And uh, it's great that you're keeping on. It's great that you're no pun intended, resurrected this will to show it again, and we look forward to seeing what else you have going on, because I know you're working with Brand New Sierra's Horn and a lot of different artists. So send us what you got so we can put it out there and people can enjoy what you're doing and also know how to get a hold of you to contract your work. Well, where can they get a hold of you? I think just go to this website, sawbladeheaddesigns.com, or go to Facebook at Mr. Sawbladehead or, or Sawbladehead Designs on Facebook. Anywhere as long as you can reach me there. Mic stands, guitar stands, keyboard stands, drums, uh, postcard holders. Yeah. <laughs> And for you folks on Facebook Live, we're going to be doing a lot of these throughout the show. We're, we've got the audio all figured out from this point on. It's going to be a little bit better. Hopefully you're able to hear us okay. But this interview will be on our website in two, three weeks with post-production and everything. This is just to kind of give you a taste of what's going on in the show if you can't be here. So thanks for joining us on Facebook Live. And thank you for joining us right here on DrumTalkTV.com with Sean Lowry, Mr. Softly. Thanks for joining us. Cool, thank you. We're going to talk more about the... Uh...